Hey everyone, I wanted to pop on here today and talk about a hot topic when it comes to owning your own business and whatever you do, or if you are in sales in any type of business industry really, sales is dependent on being able to recruit leads. And for a lot of people that word recruit is scary. It's like, ugh, gross, salesy, right? Like people feel the word recruit is such a bad thing. But here's what I wanna share with you, a little mind perspective shift on how you don't need to feel ick about the word recruit or about the actions of recruiting or about the whole concept around recruiting. It's actually, Totally safe word here, guys, but it's also the success of your business, okay? So I'm gonna share a little a little parable, if you will, with you, okay? No, this is a true story. This was my former career. So for most of you that have been following me know that I spent 11 years of my career working in the fitness industry, so I started off in sales. I moved my way up very quickly into upper management. I was a general manager for just under 10 years of my own fitness club, and from there, I moved into human resources. Yes, that's right. Before I decided to get pregnant, I wanted to take a, a little nine to five job, little nine to five, okay, it was still a big job, but I moved into recruiting. That was actually my last position in the fitness industry before I went on maternity leave and um, went on to become a full-time business owner of my own and an entrepreneur, okay? So I was a recruiter. That was actually my full-time job. That's what I did. I was paid to recruit leads. And here's the thing, okay, we were actually called talent acquisition specialists. We specialized in acquiring good talent. Okay, so you can call it whatever you want. That was actually a beautiful name. I love the title, it was really cute. Um, but really at the end of the day, what I was responsible for doing was recruiting talent, okay? That was my job. And in that job, because that was my paid position, that's what I got paid every two weeks to do, I had no problem with it. I was actually really good at it, okay? So I would go out there, I always have business cards on me. If I had a great server, if I had a great experience, if I went to the mall, actually, actively, we were supposed to do that on our shift, was go around and find great talent and be able to talk to them about another opportunity, okay? This was my corporate job. It was to be able to actually find people who I thought would be exceptional in sales in the fitness industry, offer them a business card and talk to them about applying online to come join our team. And we see this everywhere. I was actually just driving today by a plaza and I saw Tim Hortons had a big sign that said, join our team. They're recruiting guys, they're recruiting, okay? So this being my job, I had no problem doing it. I would talk about it on Facebook, I would talk about it wherever, like, hey guys, you know, currently hiring for this location, anyone that's looking at you know joining an awesome team with awesome dynamic and a fun energy and fun culture apply within right no problems doing that whatsoever because that's what I got paid to do and I you know had no problems interviewing these people offering them a job right that was my job that's what I got paid to do now when we turn this around to other types of business whether you are a sales associate or whether you are in network marketing or you own your own business and you are responsible for recruiting leads for your business as soon as it becomes this one-on-one -on -one connection where it's like oh, I'm responsible for doing this and that's how I get you know there seems to be this this hold up, this, this huge hang up on being able to connect with people to offer them an opportunity because at that point all of a sudden we feel salesy. Now when it was my job and my actual title was very clear that I was a talent acquisition specialist or I was a recruiter, people knew that the reason I was connecting with them was because I was responsible for finding the talent. I was responsible for hiring the people. And so my title gave it away. It was a clear indication that's what I was going to do and I was responsible for doing that, right? Now, when we look at this business owner position where, you know, our, our, our title, our job, and, you know, getting the leads is a part of it, but it's the beginning part, we seem so scared to be able to tell people that's just what we do. I'm finding the prospects. I'm offering this opportunity. We get so hung up on it, right? We, we don't want to feel those icky feelings that we are, you know, that we are recruiting. So 
here's the thing, guys. Business cannot grow. Sales cannot happen unless we invite people to learn more about the opportunity that we're presenting, okay? So if you are in sales and you're, if you're in network marketing, it's one thing. If you're in sales, it's one thing. It's really pretty much the same thing. But, you know, if, if you're in the network marketing industry, we are recruiting for uh, people to purchase our product or our service or to join and link arms with us in our business opportunity. We are inviting them to learn more about that. And we don't need to come up with a fancy name for it. That's just what we do. If we're in sales, right? If we're in sales, if I look back to my, you know, working in the fitness industry in those days, it was the same thing. You know, a fitness advisor had a really pretty name, right? And it sounded so cool. But at the end of the day, like what they had to do every single day was find leads. They were recruiting people to come into the club, to check it out, to take a tour at the end of the day, to sign up and get a membership. So no matter what you do in sales, it is your job to recruit the lead, to bring them in, to invite them in for an opportunity to show them what you have. Okay, so the only time that this wasn't it, when that was literally my title, I am a recruiter. Here's my business card. Do you want a job? <laughs> right? There was no ick around that because that was literally my position in the company. Hey, Mott. <laughs> Um, so this is the thing guys you when you're when you're when you're on the sales side of it don't bring the ick to the recruit okay that is literally how you are starting off your business your job your foundation is about being able to bring in people to hear about what you're passionate about and what I talked about last week what day is it? Did I talk about this on Monday? I don't even know when I talked about this, but I talked about the three P's to effective selling, right? Your passion, personal experience, and being able to find purpose with your person purchasing the product. So when it comes to recruiting, that is literally a part of it, and we just need to get over that word, okay? So don't get hung up on it. Know this is part of your business. Know this is part of how you actually bridge the gap between the product and service you sell and to bringing people in and inviting them to learn more. This is all part of it. And people every single day, guys, are buying. They're purchasing stuff every single day. It's about your message. It's about how you're approaching it. It's about how you bring life to what it is that they're about to experience when they come in and meet with you. So you're bringing that same energy, you're bringing those same three Ps to the recruiting side of it as well and knowing that that is actually the foundation of how your business is going to grow. And some people want to sit back, especially I see this in network marketing, want to sit back and be like, you know what, I just want to put it out there and people will come to me. People will come to me, they know that I sell XYZ, they know that I sell essential oils, they know that I sell this health law. Uh, weight loss program. They know that I sell these leggings. You know, they'll come to me when they want it. No, sister, that is not how it works. You need to really be able to get out there and you need to be the one to approach the people, to talk about what you're offering, to talk about your product or sell, live, breathe what it is that you are selling and invite people to come in and learn more. Invite them, right, to come in, promote what it is that you offer because people are looking to purchase and they're also looking to partner. So if you are a business owner and you are trying to recruit staff, you're trying to fill a position, right? You're filling filling a role, not a hole, but you're filling a position. You want to show people what are they going to get by joining your team. Like I said, that sign at Tim Hortons, right? You get a uniform, you get benefits, you get all these things. Woo, come work for us, right? I mean, I don't know how exciting that was, but end of the day, this is all about what it is that you're offering an experience to someone. Um, you're offering, you're offering not only that experience, but you're offering a um, word not coming to my mind. So not going to say it. Okay. So we'll cut that sentence off and let it fly. So this, I just wanted to pop in here real quick and just send that to you guys. Cause I know this is something that is such a huge block for a lot of people, but this is what your business depends on. So I hope that helps and we will talk soon. Bye guys. Have a good evening.